Hello everyone, welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about data driven testing using fixtures and we will also be using the chat GPT for assistance in this tutorial. So let's begin. In Cypress, uh, fixtures are used for data driven testing and by data driven testing means that if you want to test a particular feature with a different set of data. So let me give you a real time example here. For that, let me go to the browser here and let me open a website called orangehrmlive.com it's a demo website here and here you see that we have this logging feature and now if you want to test this feature with the multiple set of data then you need to use a fixture so fixtures are used for test data so you will be providing test data in fixtures and then you will be using that data in your test so if we go to the cypress here so here you will find this fixtures folder under this cypress and here you find an example.json. So if I click on this file, you see this is a JSON format and here you can provide your test data. So this is a very simple uh, object here. And uh, now let me go to here and create a file and let me name it as the fixtures, fixtures.js and let me copy some basic line of code from my previous example let me copy this one let me paste it here let me change the description here so this is basically a fixtures tutorial and we are learning data driven testing or in other words we say that we are parameterized we are parameterizing a test so for the first thing uh, we need to do is that we need to open this url so let me copy this url from here and let me go to Visual Studio code here and let me provide this here let me comment this line from here actually let me remove this one we don't need this one from here let me save this one and now let me go to the test runner here and let's run this file and see what happens so we have this fixtures.js click on this one it should open this uh, demo orange hrm website and it might take some time because there's some redirection happening here so because we are providing till.com but in actual it's landing to the all slash login so let me rerun this again and yes uh, the website has been opened so let me create a static uh, code right now and then we will convert this into a data driven test so for this one uh, let me go to this one here identify this element copy this one from here and paste it here and then what we need to do is that we need to type here right and what we need to type here we need to provide a username for that let me go back again and here this is basically a username and the actual username provided is admin so let me provide username here as admin now the second thing we need to do is that we need to provide a password here let's go back again and identify this field here copy this one from here and paste it here and again what we need to do is that we need to type here and let me see the password so it's uh, admin123 so admin123 now third thing is that we need to click on the button to log in ourselves so inspect this button this is a locator copy this one and go back here and provide this one and this is a very simple and quick and we are done with this one now let me save this one it will start executing again and you will see that it will provide the username and password and it should log in right and this is how it should work now i need to make it a data driven so the first thing we need to do is that we need to go here and here in the you can create new file or you can utilize this one and 
let me use this file here this is example one we don't need this parameter we only need username and password so let me change this one as a username and let me change it to password here and what is our actual username which we are providing which is admin we don't need a comma here and now what we need to do is that we need to provide this password here admin one two three now our file is ready and now what we need to do is that we need to call this file data file where we have a data in our test here so first thing is that we need to call this file access this file and then we will be using the data from this file here we have one data but in actual we would be creating the multiple set of data and we will be using the array objects here so let me go here and let me open the browser actually and let me show you cypress fixtures and search for this one and we need to go to this official website here and you see that load a fixed set of data located in, this, in the file so we have a test data in the file and this is a syntax here cy.fixture we need to provide a file path if there is any encoding we need to provide encoding options so we have different ways to use this one and let's see what is the correct use so we can use this as cy.fixture is basically a method through which we can use and call the file so here users is basically a file and they are using the alias here to call it as a users json and then they have used this one to resolve this file in order to access this file so let's do this thing and uh, let me go back to just record here and what i'll do is that uh, i will call this file before this test so that so that we have a data preloaded before it can we can pass it here right now we are giving a hard-coded value but now what i'll do is that let me create a before block here before and we need a function here which is a callback function and we need a body of callback function right and for the first thing we need is that let me put a comments here call the test data file so this is what i need to do here and this can be done simply cy dot fixtures and i need to provide a name of the file so the file name is example and if the file is under this fixtures folder so we can just provide the name of the file even we don't need to provide the extension which is dot json but if you have some other folders or subfolders so you need to provide a complete path here okay once i have called this file then we need to resolve the promise here and again what i need to do is that i need a callback function okay and the body of callback function so here i need to create one variable where i can actually save this data so for that i'm using like login i'm just giving a name here you can name it anything as per your requirement and now what i'll do is that in order to make it inherited from other outside this block of code what i'll do is that i will use a keyword called this so this is used for you know object oriented programming here and this dot login data equals to login data and we are done so that's this is one thing very basic call the file here this is all the promise save into a variable and use this keyword to refer or make it available outside this block of the code so once we are done with this uh, we simply need this dot logging data okay and we just remove this one from here and simply we need to provide the username because this dot login is equals to login data and login data is having all the data coming from the example so this dot login data dot username will provide me a username from the file and similarly 
let me copy this one and paste it here and instead of a username here let me provide a password here and that's it so no hard coded values now the values are actually coming from this example dot json and this is the file where we are actually calling this test data so let me save this one and let's see what happens so you see that the script provided username password and click on the login button and that's how we actually work with the fixed issues now let me go back to the browser here and see what chat gpt suggests us so let me type here so let me see what is fixed features in cypress and how to use it so let's see what chat gpt suggests in cypress fixtures are a way to load the test data or load data into your test this is what we did so definition is correct and they allow you to define test data that can be reused across multiple tests this yes we can do because whenever wherever we want to use that particular data we can simply call that file we can resolve the promise and we can access the data from that particular file so here uh, it says that so you can share it between the different parts of the test yes we can do that then create a fixtures directory this is already there in case if you don't have fixtures we can create the fixtures folder under this cypress and then define your fixtures data as a json file in fixtures which is already provided there as an example.json and here it says us you know give give us a, a you know data and data here is in the form of array because when we have a multiple data objects we can provide that in this form so in our case here we just provided one data right one username and password but in real life what we need to do is that we need to provide a multiple set of data like for id1 id2 id3 name of third person and so on as per our requirement then load the fixtures here and here again um, chat gpt is suggesting that we should use c by dot fixture call the file with the dot json but uh, cypress is smart enough we don't need to use dot json here we just use a name if there is a change in directory then we should provide with dot json if in your case uh, the name of the file is not working then provide the extension as well then it again resolves this one and save the data here and after that it wraps the data to have this property and data right so pretty much uh, the very similar sessions are there but there's some differences and changes here and again just like i explained in previous tutorials that chat gpt is not 100 percent correct so 70 to 80 percent is correct and it is really helpful when you are actually doing the automation it suggests a lot of things here so that's all about uh, the fixtures in this tutorial thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial